Good afternoon, Redeemer family and everybody joining us on the internet around the world. Our devotion for this afternoon is based on the epistle reading for the second Sunday in Lent. The epistle reading is Romans chapter 4, verses 1 through 8 and verses 13 through 17. Romans chapter 4, verses 1 through 8 and verses 13 through 17. What then shall we say was gained by Abraham, our father, according to the flesh? For if Abraham was justified by works, he has something to boast about, but not before God. For what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God, and it was counted to him as righteousness. Now to the one who works, his wages are not counting as a gift, but as is due. And to the one who does not work, but trusts him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted as righteousness. Just as David also speaks of the blessing of the one whom God counts righteousness apart from works. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man against whom the Lord will not count his sin. For the promise to Abraham and his offspring that he would be heir of the world did not come through the law, but through the righteousness of faith. For if the adherents of the law were who are to be the heirs, faith and is null and promise is void. For the law brings wrath, but where there is no law, there is no transgression. That is why it depends on faith, in order that the promise may rest on grace and be guaranteed to all his offspring, not only to the adherent of the law, but also to the one who shares the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. As it is written, I have made you the father of many nations in the presence of the God in whom he believed, who gives life to the dead and calls into existence the things that do not exist. As we think about this passage of scripture here in Romans, you know, Paul is, is really emphasizing what we need to think about as far as the difference between faith and works, salvation by faith and salvation by works. And he uses Abraham as a comparison because the, the point that he makes first and foremost is that, you know, works require a wage. And so, a wage is something that's owed to the worker for the work that he has done. You know, God doesn't owe us anything because all the work that we do is tainted by sin. And because all the work that we do is tainted by sin, it's not something that can be counted as righteousness because it's all flawed. It's all flawed with sin, tainted by sin, polluted by sin. And because it's all flawed, you know, it can accomplish for us very little, basically nothing. And so what really counts then is something else, something else which is more important, something else which comes to us by grace. That is righteousness. And that's what we hear in this passage. For, in verse 3, for what does the scripture say? Abraham believed God and it was counted to him as righteousness. The righteousness that we receive because of faith. The righteousness which is the perfection of Christ. The righteousness which is everything that Jesus earned by his perfect life, by his suffering and death, and by his resurrection. That's what covers our sin. And that counts to us not as something we work for, but as something that God gives us as a gift. You know, which one of us looks under a Christmas tree and sees a present for us and, and says, boy, I really worked hard for that this year. It's not the way it works. A gift is a gift. It's a blessing by somebody else 
offered freely. And so it is with righteousness. It comes to us when we believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. God gives it to us as a gift, ready and waiting for us to take hold of it, to receive it, to make it our own by faith. That's that wonderful gift. The gift of our salvation in Jesus, the gift of eternal life. As Abraham believed and was counted to him his righteousness, may we also believe and receive the gift of righteousness that Jesus earned by his life, death, and resurrection. In his name, amen. Please pray with me. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray, fill us with your Holy Spirit. Help us to have a firm and strong faith. Draw us to you in faith that we might receive the gift. Take hold of it by faith, the gift of righteousness that you supplied by your cross and resurrection. As our sin has been covered, may we not only be strengthened in our faith to continue to receive that gift, but also that we would be strengthened in faith to share it with others. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed Thursday and a blessed weekend, our last devotion for this week, and we will see you on Monday for Monday's devotion. May the Lord be with you, encouraging you, strengthening you, and blessing you with his gift of righteousness that covers all your sin. Have a blessed day.